Have you ever seen the really huge projects in the United States? Blueprints become huge structures, really pushing the building envelope. Today, we look at some of the largest mega projects in the United States. From way underground to the biggest behemoths on the planet, these projects highlight the incredible complexity it takes to bring this country's giants to life. Our story begins in New York with the Bayonne Bridge Raising Project, yet another engineering marvel that has changed the view of the skyline from over the Kill Van Cull Strait. This massive structure connects Staten Island, New York to Bayonne, New Jersey. The project was undertaken to meet a critical need. Modern cargo ships require more clearance at their peak than the earlier structures and, in fact, are still unable to ply most of the major bridges on the eastern seaboard. The previous bridge, an original from 1931, had a navigational clearance that was too low for the new generation of ultra-large container vessels that have come into service after the Panama Canal expansion. The completed project cost $1.7 billion in total and successfully raised the roadway of the bridge from the previous height of 151 feet above water level to its current height of 215 feet above water level without compromising the original iconic design with the arch. This modification now makes way for the passage of the nearly doubled size vessels that the bridge facilitated earlier to come into the port facilities, hence increasing the operational capacity and efficiency of the facilities. Among the key challenges, to execute this work without interfering with the heavy vehicular traffic on the bridge, for which innovative construction methods and meticulous scheduling of work were necessary. The raise the roadway approach required new construction above an existing roadway while traffic continued below. The existing roadway was ultimately dismantled after completion. This is another engineering marvel that literally raises the level of operational capacity and efficiency of the country's busiest port by providing a better traffic throughput system at the port. The Bayonne Bridge Project, then, represents innovation and the exercise of persistence in developing critical infrastructure while attempting to cause minimum interference in daily life. Successfully finishing the project enhanced the port's economic potentials while preserving a piece of architectural history for future generations. Let's move our attention to Atlanta Beltline Project, the Atlanta Beltline Project is an ambitious and comprehensive revitalization effort aiming to transform a historic 22-mile railroad corridor encircling downtown Atlanta into a dynamic multi-use trail, modern streetcar line, and expansive green space. Initiated in the early 2000s and projected to continue through 2030, this grand endeavor is not only redefining urban transit but also enhancing community connectivity and sustainability. With an estimated cost exceeding $4.8 billion, it's one of the largest urban redevelopment projects in the United States. The Beltline aims to connect 45 in-town neighborhoods with multi-use trails, promoting walking, biking, and public transit over reliance on automobiles. This effort addresses several critical urban challenges, including the need for improved public transportation options and the promotion of a more sustainable lifestyle. By using existing railroad tracks for the trail and transit system, the project integrates historic infrastructure into modern urban design. However, the Beltline has faced significant challenges, particularly in terms of funding and community engagement. Balancing the diverse needs and expectations of various stakeholders, residents, and city officials has required continuous dialogue and adaptation. Additionally, the project navigates complex logistical challenges associated with constructing and maintaining infrastructure across active urban environments without significant disruptions to the daily lives of Atlanta's residents. Overall, the Atlanta Beltline project exemplifies the potential for urban redevelopment to transform cities into more connected, sustainable, and vibrant communities. As it progresses, the Beltline is expected to enhance Atlanta's appeal, improve quality of life for residents, and attract new businesses and tourists to the area. Next, we explore the second Midtown Tunnel, one of the most important projects for the Elizabeth River that joins Norfolk and Portsmouth cities in Virginia. It was constructed between 2012 and 2016. That is, it involved the construction of a new two-lane tunnel parallel to the existing Midtown Tunnel, hence doubling the capacity of this important traffic artery. Costing $2.1 billion, the construction process of the second Midtown Tunnel was innovative and complex. This was not the typical boring technique used for tunneling. Instead, it was done using an immersed tube technique. 
The prefabricated tunnel sections were floated to site and sunk into a pre-dug trench on the riverbed. Sections were connected to each other inside that trench to form the tunnel. This technique ensured minimal disruption to river traffic and perfect alignment of the tunnel sections. The new tunnel not only eases traffic congestion, but also improves the safety and time for thousands of travelers. Related to environmental concerns, the project has been careful to include several measures that would ensure no impact. This includes careful monitoring of water quality during construction and utilization of innovative techniques to manage and minimize displacement of sediments. The second Midtown Tunnel also consists of modern safety upgrades, such as advanced ventilation and lighting systems, along with emergency facilities, to ensure the tunnel is capable of meeting the current-day standards of infrastructure for resilience and safety of commuters. The second Midtown Tunnel project is a great example of how present-day engineering can cope with long-standing issues in transportation involving advanced measures for safety and environmental care. It thus stands as a lighthouse for all the improvement in this infrastructure that could come about aligned with the advancement in modern demands from an ever-growing population. Now it's time to uncover the SoFi Stadium project, now a landmark that attests to the highest levels of architectural magnificence in the world of sports and entertainment. Costing an unbelievable $5.5 billion, it was completed in September 2020 for hosting the NFL's Los Angeles Rams and Chargers. It is an engineering marvel that offers all other venues across the globe features that distinguish it. One of the hallmarks in its design is the gigantic ethereal canopy hanging over the stadium and the adjacent plaza. The canopy creates a shaded space free from weather disturbance, therefore giving the spectators comfort. The other key aspect related to the construction of the stadium includes the construction with subgrade facilities. To meet height requirements near Los Angeles International Airport, the stadium was built in such a way that its playing field is 100 feet below ground level, sunk into the ground. A lot of excavation and construction thus were necessary to make it stable and maintain it dry. Increases that substantially inflated the gross cost of the project, the Oculus, the video board erected at SoFi Stadium, is another one of its superlative amenities. This double-sided 4K video board hangs at around 2.2 million pounds, wrapping around the inside of the stadium giving fans a 360-degree view that's as immersive as it is groundbreaking. The stadium also offers plush seating, modern technological amenities, and a variety of dining and entertainment options to make it a front-runner in sports and entertainment events. Now, let's move to the stunning Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge, a transformative structure spanning the Hudson River between Rockland and Westchester counties in New York. Completed in 2018 at a cost of $4 billion, this project replaced the aging Tappan Zee Bridge, a vital link that had served the region since 1955. Named after the late New York Governor Mario M. Cuomo, the bridge represents a monumental investment in infrastructure and a new era of transportation for the area. Constructed over five years, the project faced numerous challenges, including maintaining traffic flow on the existing bridge while the new spans were being built parallel to it. The project utilized advanced construction techniques, such as floating cranes, one of the largest in the world known as the left coast lifter. This crane was capable of lifting and placing sections weighing up to 1,820 tons, facilitating the assembly of the massive structure. The bridge stretches approximately three miles in length, with each of the twin spans measuring around 1,200 feet at their longest span. These spans are supported by 419 foot towers which are angled outwardly, a design choice that not only provides structural efficiency but also gives the bridge its visually striking profile. The Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge includes eight traffic lanes and a shared-use path for bicycles and pedestrians, featuring six scenic overlooks and art installations. In terms of materials, the bridge incorporates more than 220 million pounds of American-made steel and 3,000 cubic yards of concrete. The amount of cable used in the bridge's stay cables could stretch from New York City to Chicago if laid end to end. Special features of the bridge include its resilience to extreme weather conditions. Designed to withstand the increasing frequency of severe weather events, it is built with corrosion-resistant steel and concrete to ensure a lifespan of over 100 years significantly improving on the durability of its predecessor. Each of these mega-projects showcases the remarkable engineering 
innovation, and dedication involved in transforming blueprints into awe-inspiring structures. These projects redefine the limits of construction, making a significant impact on the landscape and infrastructure of the United States.